Hi, this is TH Colleen for Solar Cities, and I've built this biodigester with my son Killian. He just turned 13 years old and following in the family footsteps. This is made out of two what they call Maischflasch, Maischflasch, which means mash barrels, which they use for making uh, beer. And they seal because they have, as you can see here, the barrels have an O-ring. Um, there it is. The barrels have an O-ring, and then when you put this and screw it down, the O-ring seals the barrel, so they're airtight barrels. This bigger one, which is 120 liters, cost about 44 euro, and then I have a 60 liter one inside. Now, why do I do that? I'm making basically a Solar Cities barrel biodigester, but I'm also making an Arty India floating digester. If the weather was good outside, you could take this off and you could take this off and you can see here let me just push this down a second there you go now i have a floating digester and i could put this onto here and now it's acting as a arty india digester you feed it here the food goes to the bottom the overflow spills out here and of course the barrel as it fills with gas the barrel is going to rise and you'll say, oh, I've got, you know, I've got 15 minutes, 20 minutes of cooking. And then as you use up the gas, it would go back down. So this could be used just as is. The problem is it loses a lot of heat because it's open and the water level is going to be up to here. Um, it's a perfectly good digester, but it's going to get cold, particularly at night when it just radiates the heat away. So another compromise is to take this off and put on the part that has the o-ring seal on it line it up like that so that that plugs in there then you can put your pipe and you can put your valve on top like that and of course then you can seal this down now what's going to happen is once this is sealed the floating barrel is still going to fill with gas. It's going to be gas tight, but it's going to hit this and it's not going to be able to move. So it's going to force liquid out the overspill and you'll start reducing your water level as gas builds up in there, unless you open this valve. Now, if you open this valve, then the gas pressure that's coming in can be used to fill a balloon or an inner tube or a pool toy. And that's what we'll probably use to collect the gas. And it'll work perfectly fine as long as you keep filling this with water. You have positive water pressure. This shouldn't leak because this is a mash barrel or a mice flash, flash, mice flash. Um, so that works as both a fixed drum digester or as a floating drum digester. And it's very simple. We don't glue these down. We just decide we're going to take this off to let it work in the hot months if we want. We lift this up again, take this off, and then pop that through. Then you can put your valve right on here, and you can use it as it rises and falls. This one, this 60 liter barrel cost about 29 euros. This one was 44, so you're looking at about 74, 75 euros plus some parts. We ended up spending about just about a hundred euro on this project. Um, but I had to bring this valve from the United States and the uniseals, because we have a uniseal under here. It seems like they do have such things in Germany. You can't see it because it's taped over. And then we have a uniseal down here. Be very, very careful with these barrels. Uh, very hard to drill without making a mistake, which is why I put so much silicone, as you can see, in there, because they're very thin-walled not the best for using uniseals but this should work hopefully we're going to get some pond muck some duck pond muck to uh, to fill it up with today and then we'll let it ferment and then as i say you have the option with this design of using it as a floating drum digester or sealing it like this make sure this goes down there right and then putting the lid on and then popping this tube in. 
and go in like that. Um, the reason for the bottles here is because we had to, um, you don't, if you started bending this pipe too close to this, then the pipe would pull out the uniseal. If it falls too far back, it would waggle and fall out. So we taped it with some bottles that are sealed. You wouldn't want to open this cap because then it would let the air out and the bottle would collapse. So we have two bottles that are holding this in place. And hopefully this is, uh, this is going to make it uh, stable and make it work. This, you should notice, is made so that the overspill starts slightly below the top of the barrel. If it's too high, we can always gently twist it down until we get the right flow rate out. So that's why it's not completely up and down. We have that option to slowly adjust and then have the right thing. So the lid to the 60 liter is just an extra lid, which you can hang on to and use later. Um, parts that you didn't use like this when you did your drilling, I do want to point out that you can always use them as surface area on the inside. So when you're doing your cleanup, let's pop that back out. When you're doing your cleanup, you can drop those in. The microbes will enjoy hanging out on those. If you want to see what looks like down at the bottom of here, let me pull this out and show you. I just have the brick there because I don't want to put too much weight on the pipe. And it does add some surface area. And uh, that's, uh, yeah, there it is. So there's the 60 liter. And then we put it back in. And we put this back on if we want to. So there that goes. That fits on. The measurement here, for those of you who are watching uh, and want to make your own, it was 15? 15 and a half centimeters from the outside rim. To the inside. I would say 16 because we messed up. We did mess up a little bit. And we measured, we first we drilled the hole, then we measured from here to here. So there's our tape measure. Tape measure is here. So if you're not making it as a floating, like I said, you can use this as an already floating digester and just do this, but it's only going to work when it's really warm outside and it loses heat overnight. So what we did is, okay. What we did is we measured from here, from this part of the rim here, that became 15 and a half to the center there. And then we put this on and we measured from here because we noticed when you snug it down, that's the same place we did 15 and a half there. And that's how we got it. All right. Thanks a lot. And we hope you'll, uh, you'll enjoy building your own. It's a great home project, great thing to do with your kids in the summertime or during the school year. And there we go, put that in, pop that in, and put this lid on. Something to do with the, my, with the mash barrels. There you go. And then we have a biodigester.